welcome to Midcast Presents Raised on Games episode X. This is episode X. I'm telling you, this is episode X. I think it's that's about right. Episode X. My 64 notes don't have what to call it. X. Episode 10 of Raised on Games. Yeah. This is going to be a, a three for one. It's going to be a very quick one. Josh, Matt, you already know that. If you don't already know it, click like, subscribe, do, do it anyways. now. If you're listening to this in audio, make sure you go watch the video because you're missing out. Do it. Do it now. We implore you. This episode of Raised on Games, we are covering. Let's the, start with the the the, the, the final. The final breaths of Sega. Well, technically, right now they're on their final breath. This was like them losing, like their. Oh, shit, do I want to do? All right. No. This was their make... final breath. Like we're covering the Nomad, the Saturn, the Sega Saturn, and the Dreamcast, the last system that Sega ever made. Fortunately, I still hope to come back someday. So we're going to dive right into this big bad son bitch. I'm going to let Matt start and yes. talk about the Sega Nomad. Matt, go. Well, you and me, um, we were at a store, an electronic boutique. Was it an EB? Yes. Okay. In the day. Back in the day? When the fields were young and uh, something was ripe. And, and the boys were young? Yeah, something like that. An electronic boutique in Yorktown Mall? Yeah, the one that used to live there. Don't worry, you still in the last Reason Games episode. You did. And they had the Sega Nomad. It was like cheap as shit. I want to say shit. it was like either 20 or like 29 bucks. What was it? Wasn't it pretty cheap? Wasn't it? Was it though? The cost of batteries though? Was it cheap? No. Well, I mean, we got the adapter thing for it, and you pretty much have to keep that adapter on that system to play it. But think about how cool that was though to have a handheld system that, I mean, the game alone that you're putting in that thing was almost the size of it. It was yeah. thick. Um, yeah, the, the Nomad. The Nomad was big. It was. It was big. Thick. Ron Jeremy thick. And you would put the game, the Genesis game, in there, and it played Genesis games. That was huge. That awesome. was huge. Couldn't play it in daylight because, heaven forbid, you couldn't yeah. fucking see the screen. Yeah, the thing drank batteries like, like it was. Yeah, the aliens from the faculty. There you go. <laughs> you haven't seen that movie? Check it out. It's good stuff. Yeah, Yo, Robert Patrick likes his each. What game did you have with it? For it. Well, I mean, we had our old collection games, game, so we so had like X Men, Castlevania, the good X Men. Oh, oh that shit! Yeah, dude. So Sega Nomad lines, the Sonic games. Um, I'm sure you'll see funny pictures, or I'll put one in here of the people that have like the Nomad, and they'll have like Sonic, and then the Game Genie, and then the Sonic and Knuckles, and then the what's it called? And they have the Tower. You've seen those pictures. You could do all sorts of stuff like that. But it was just such a unique. Um, one of the was it the, the problem with the, the Nomad was that it did not have a reset button, though, and it had a power. So, like, the problem I had with, like, X-Men, when you would go to play it, you go to Mojo's level, and you have to reset your system in order because it has the TV glitch that happens, and you can't progress the game because it's like, reset your system. You have to reset it. You can't on the Nomad. Oh. So you screwed. Mojo is up in your mm. Nomad, and he's wrecking you. No, well, he's the last boss, and he wins. So, I mean, that was the Nomad. I mean, you had to have a lot of batteries or the adapter yep. to play it. Sega so Nomad. Play it in a nice, dark, somewhat dark, dark room, room without yeah, much glare. Yep. Or whatever. And, I mean, pretty cool for the time, but it's another one of those brushed concepts Sega had when they were doing, like, CD, 32X. Uh, the Neptune, was it the 32X standalone unit, I believe. Yeah. And then all the other versions of the CD they had. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the next beast coming. Sega Saturn. Yes, we had gotten the Saturn. I believe it was after the. the pretty much it, it was bombed. well after. Yeah, it was well after. It was a dead thing. It was well, it was, after. well, part of what people contribute that thing dying and not being successful was didn't Japan like announce it and they're like, oh, and it's out right now. Yeah, and America, America was fucked. not ready. Like, yeah, we we've talked about console wars. Yeah, before. there were games that weren't that were being developed that weren't yeah. ready for the game system yet. That was like, the downfall of Tom Kalinske, who we've talked about being a legend. Yeah. And pretty much blindsided them. Yeah. Yeah, we're like, oh yeah, it's out now. And, and they had ready for it. a lot of great RPGs in there. I had uh, Panzer Dragoon on there. It was awesome. Um, me and Josh, our actual our first for Ray, because I'm getting ahead of ourselves with the Saturn, was that we rented it. Our first system, I believe we rented? Yes. Or yeah. did we rent a 64 at all? No. No, we bought one. That's right. 
So yeah, the first video game system that me and Josh rented here from our friendly neighborhood video shop that we've talked about once before, um, rented a system, but I'm trying to remember what we paid for it. It had been like 10 or 15 Yeah, bucks I think it was 15 like bucks. Two days or something. Yeah. You want to know why we rented it, guys? There's this hit movie in 1994. We've talked about it before. We've referenced it. We've been under attack at the Midcast HQ by two characters from this film for our comments made about something from this film. And it's Street Fighter the movie. And you remember that game, Josh? I do remember that game. How I remember awesome. loving that game. It was the best port on the Sega Saturn oh, compared to the other consoles because of the various changes. So, and, and Saturn had its fair share of great games. Uh, Virtual Cop. Yeah, well, like, the three that came bundled um, when you got bundled the... Bundled set? When you got the... I don't want to, like, put a term on the, what's it called. Like the, I was going to call it the poverty bundle or the <laughs> please send help bundle or please something. Send help bundle. Which was, like, please buy our system. Here's three free games. What are the three games? Uh, Daytona USA racing sure. game. I remember it being not too shabby. It had, like, I thought mm-hmm. kind of the, pre- the, the pretty heavy, like, racing Driving kind of a little bit. You know, mind you, nowadays, that's the way, you know, like, a lot of it should be. Um, I'd probably say it was more probably like the Forza games. I just wasn't used to it. I was used to my little arcade driving, and I'd like the heaviness of it. But I'm trying to remember the tracks, and I thought, mind you, I might have only played the first track and said, fuck this game. But I thought a lot of them were just rings, like NASCAR-type tracks. You didn't have a lot of crazy courses and stuff say, going on. Yeah, what, what other games did they come with? Uh, Virtual Cop, which we yeah, started yeah, getting yeah, into. Cop was cool. We ended up getting the two uh, orange guns for that. I still have them in my closet. Son of a bitch, guys. I had, um, the other day I was cleaning out my closet, M&M style, and um, I had the Saturn on the bottom of my closet here. I should have brought it out to show you guys, because it's the same one that we've had for many years, and we got the two guns for Virtual Cop. And let me tell you, that game was the most fun. Um, it reminded me a lot, obviously, of Die Hard uh, Trilogy, the yeah. Die Hard 2 game, but obviously more accurate, featuring some of the dumbest villains in the game that just all roll out in strategic positions every time you play. And, I mean, it's your typical arcade game without the credit coins and all that. So fun. Mindless fun, right? Good stuff. And then the third was uh, Virtual Fighter, which I never really kind of got into. It was fun. I mean, you give me three free games of varying variety with a system that was cheap. I'm going to enjoy that. But the f- jumping and, and floating, I don't know what planet the Virtual Fighter universe fighters take it takes place in. Yeah, I don't know either. But there's some crazy gravity in that planet, I tell you what. I'm going to wait for a lore. They had the Knights games. Those were big. Oh, Those my were God. big games. I almost forgot about fucking Knights. I don't think it had a Sonic game. They yeah. um they had also one of the Marvel vs. Capcom games, too. was pretty good on there. They had a lot of good fighting games, guys, on that system that were not exactly the arcade ports, but they were better than what PlayStation was putting out at the time, like Street Fighter the movie, where you had different animations, better graphics. I mean, think... We're going to go back to Street Fighter the movie and why we rented this, guys. We loved the movie, as I have said. But they actually like scanned in the characters or the actors, and you got to play as them. But they had the move set from like old Street Fighter, and it moved like Street Fighter uh, Turbo or whatever, so it wasn't mm-hmm. slow and clunky. So you could pull off, you know, like a lot of these bison moves and shit, or Tiger uppercut, and it's like West Studious had gotten Street Fighter the movie doing the moves. That was cool to us, and like I, I feel bad because. Had I been aware of more of the RPGs and some of the games like you're looking at here, uh, I'm just trying to see. There's a Sega Saturn Sonic game, Sonic Extreme, for Sega Saturn, but it was canceled. Wow, yeah, yeah. That, that they really set that to die, and that's when yep. you started. I mean, it's funny, guys. I didn't want to go too crazy with the whole Sega talk, um, but it's funny when I always go back to Council Wars, guys. I mean, come on, read it, check it out. Uh, you look at Tom Kalinske, Genesis, what his team was doing to Sega. Sega of America was Sega, guys. Yeah. Of the 90s. Oh, no, absolutely. They put that on the map, and it's a bummer that uh, Sega of Japan did not take notice of that more and maybe let them have more control and or more say of that. And that could be a whole honor thing. But um, Sega of Japan let Sega die, I think. I truly think. Because if they had gotten the U.S. Um, team involved more with yep. I think, some of these systems, they could have been more successful. And, I mean, we saw what happened. In fact, well, we didn't see what happened because the next part that Josh is going to tell you about here soon is coming. They had a lot of different models. They had that really cool, uh, was it like a crystal white one that's in there somewhere that you're looking at? This I see, is Dreamcast I'm uh, looking at because... I see a lot of people on NeoGAF posting their pickup threads of these awesome, unique RPG games for like the Saturn, and I, and I miss out. I mean, it's funny because I got a Saturn. I just got to get an old TV and I can play this stuff. And maybe we'll find a way to, to bring that for you guys to, to show, maybe play old games like that. Yeah. I'm all about getting an adapter. 
I'm tan. Fuck this tangent. You really fucking are. We're not talking about Nintendo right now. Dreamcast. Let me step in on this one. Let me step right in. I'm a Vinavita baby. Did he even do like an epic rap battle? Mm-hmm. Did that just knock me over? Beat the shit out of me. Anyways. Whoa. Sega Dreamcast. Sega's last attempt. They got destroyed on Sega Saturn. Destroyed. Took heavy losses. Casualties everywhere. Battlefield was just terrible. It was just Sega Saturn's dead on the beach. Pretty much. They they basically were just getting overwhelmed. Got overwhelmed. They put in the kill the kill codes. They called yeah. the what's it called? Guy and he said launch the Execute order sixty six and yeah. it was all done. Execute order nine 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 ninety. Yeah. So Sega finally. Nine nine ninety nine September 9th, 1999, the Sega Dreamcast comes out. I had pre-ordered The one. hype was fucking real. You remember the seeing hype the ads in some of the that magazines? That like, they huge. marketed the shit out of that thing. One of the best names for a console ever. I liked it. Uh, right. Went, bought it, saved up monies for it. I don't remember what it cost when it came out. Uh, I do have the Wikipedia page right here. I'm waiting for the Nightmare Reel. So, Follow up. Real yeah, Dreamcast. Dream you gotta reel it in. Right? Oh, I you're so funny. You're so funny. You're okay, so Gala. Anyway, fucking kid. That's the truth. Um. So you had Sega Dreamcast came out, and I loved my Sega Dreamcast. I dude, I loved it too. Like, absolutely the loved VMUs, Sega all the little games you could do on the VMUs. Yeah, it that? had it had the little. VMUs that you plugged in there. It had like oh. the, the Sonic game had like the little rays, like it was kind of like Tamagotchi. Mm, um, yeah. Not quite sure on the launch tiles. I wasn't going to pull it up. There was a problem when that system launched <laughs> where that he got to experience. Yeah, I actually got to experience where some games wouldn't they wouldn't load up, and I had bought Ready to Rumble Boxing. We got the Afro guys, that like arcade boxing game. Did I buy Ready to Rumble Boxing and Sonic? You and Sonic worked fine. This is one of those you bought one or two games, you got the system, and then you're like, I need more because we got yeah. that at the that might have been the EB that used to yeah. live there. Yeah, it's the EB. It, it, and the then we EB went to Target, Yorktown Mall, where it used to live there. over there to get yeah. that's where you took because I think that's where I got uh, Ready to Rumble Boxing. Yes, and took it back because it, it wasn't loading. And I remember the lady oh. in the returns was a huge bitch. Yeah. And was fighting me on it. It's like, now nah, I dope and we can't return it, blah, blah, blah. And I, like, explained to her. I'm trying to, like, sh- tell her, like, hey, look, no, this is a known problem. Like, mm-hmm. this this is a huge problem. You yeah. need to return this. Let me think do something else. Nowadays, you would have been screwed, actually, because they would have probably just given you an even exchange on the wind. And they would have told you to go to Sega. Or Sega yeah. maybe would have. Yeah. But I remember having Sonic. I remember getting Sonic. I remember getting the Ready to Rumble box. Oh, oh crazy and, yeah, taxi. And crazy day. Crazy taxi was yeah, so yeah, yeah, fun. Like for as simple as that game is, like, fuck that game yeah. was hey. really fun and addicting. And that game did one thing right that a lot of other games fall on. <laughs> In game advertising. Yeah, like you could like, hey, Tons. take me to Pizza Hut. Tower fucking records. Yeah, like uh, KFC was in there. The the, the sheer Some amount of shooters. style that the games on Dreamcast oh, had. I mean and and I can't tell you, like, dates where I got games. I just remember standout games I had. Um, uh, I remember, like, f- like Fantasy Star. Online, online. Yes. And And did did the Dreamcast come with the modem, or did you have to buy the modem? I remember we had a, some sort of a keyboard that I'll put down in here, and I don't know if yeah, that was a special you, pack, or maybe it came with You had to buy, add-on. yeah, you had to buy, I think you had to buy the modem add-on, or it was built in with the modem. That might have been one of the first systems that did, and that was, I think, one of the groundbreaking features. Yeah, you needed it for, um... Fantasy Star Online. Well, I mean, you don't Fantasy Star. You didn't need Which it. Somehow need still it. works. I don't know. Yeah, what the that, deal is with that, that game was so fun. Maybe it's on like, official servers or something going on. I loved the shit out of that game. Yeah. Um, bring us, guys. Come on, bring. I know you said something about bringing it to PC. The two that's out. They, I that's think coming. they are good. They, yeah, I'll, I'll bring it. That. Um, I remember when you were in the Marine Corps. Oh, when you were in Basic. I remember because at the time I'm, I was old enough. And I, I was smoking. Sad. I was smoking in uh, my bedroom. Well, what is now his bedroom? And uh, there was wood paneling in there, and I was smoking, and it smelled terrible. I remember my mom, my midcast mom, helped me out. We got like Murphy's oil soap, and we like we cleaned Tangents, the walls, cleaning we, advertisements. No, like because like got this is a Murphy's like, oil. big memory. But no, I remember we cleaned the walls. Like, we cleaned the room out. I think I went out, and I, like, they bought me this really 
big, huge, like comfy chair. Ah, yes. <coughs> God I had a, damn, guys, the memories. I had a little TV. I had a little TV in there, a little case, and I remember I had to hook it up. And I remember playing a fuck ton of Tony Hawk Pro Skater Two. I, a ton of that and a ton of Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, you ever talk about going a back? A ton of it. And I'm really... I'm Italian Napoleon. I wish I could go Dude. Back. I wish you could go back and... <laughs> I'm telling you, like... Like, considering what little... Little memories I had of, like, Nintendo 64. And even what little memories I have of PlayStation 2. I think it's which, a defining... It has a lot to do, we'll I think, with... talking about yeah. next episode, but... I mean, just the the game. The, the that was another flat, system that like, you all bought flat out on your own. Yeah, and the the fighting games for that was good. That was the Marvel vs. Capcom two. Oh God, was on that and fantastic. You said um, Power Stone already, right? Yeah, no, I oh. was just about to Power Stone one and two. Oh, Power Stone one. One of the great. launch games we totally shat on, which is one of the fucking coolest fighting games that's out there. We didn't even talk about it. I think I'm getting to it. Okay, but I'm not saying shit. But you yeah, guys know what it the is. The Power Stone games. But the game that I really, really, the fighting game I really, really loved for that game, fucking Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur was so good. That announcer voice, like, I love it. That game, uh, and Cervantes was my shit. Guy, I love. He was my. He was that, my. Was that so was, good. Uh, and that, I still think those graphics still kind of hold up in good. a way. It's something. It's, it's something like the um, the guys at Giant Bomb when they were talking about Splatoon. They said that Splatoon feels like a lost Dreamcast game. Like that, that it that, that they totally style. It's like the color, the style. It yeah, really the style. Does. Jet grind radio, jet set radio. Like you're dream, blowing my. I'm sorry, you're blowing my mind with that giant them. bomb thing and the, the Splatoon thing. Yeah, it's 100 percent right. It's 100 percent true. Like the Splatoon's a great game, but it's like they said, it, it, Splatoon is basically a long lost Dreamcast game. Yeah. Like Dreamcast games, just there are so many other games that just had it's just the style. Mm-hmm. About it, and it was the system was so good. I liked the controller. I thought the controller was pretty, was pretty, pretty cool. comfortable. Interesting shape. Um, had a lot of different stuff they were trying that I thought kind of worked. I still wonder what the the more and more I talk about this, the more and more I kind of regret selling mine. Yeah, no, I'm dude, thinking dude, about cheap, buying another cheap. one. Look, look like, them up. I think they're like ninety nine bucks or something for a pretty good. For a while, I saw it brand new in box, and it was like one twenty or something. Yeah, dude. Like, I mean, or, I remember they had that guys that could be wrong. Like, I, I mean, come on, dude. Semen? Semen, dude? Like, I remember... That, let's talk about this. That fucking monstrosity of a game? Because that game had some good potential when you kind of go into it, but then when you kind of look back at it, it was kind of a unique, interesting game, but it was kind of a shitty game, game at the same terrifying. time. It was terrifying. But it also, I was watching a review on uh, YouTube about Semen, and people were getting to points in that game like that we never saw because we kept fucking killing them off. Mm-hmm. We got them to the land phase, I thought, once or twice. Yeah, We never took them past that. Like the early stages of the land phase of them, like becoming like oh, dude, how's the dead too? Like I'm telling, I'm telling you, I'm forgetting about all these guys. There's so many of these great games. Dude, D2, and, uh, no, not D2. D2. That was on Saturn or no D2. That was Dreamcast. D2 was Dreamcast. D2 was awesome. The Echo the Dolphin, the game they did on Dreamcast was really fucking good. Like, yeah, you're making me regret the whole that time frame uh, before the end of this weekend. Oh, let's get one. We'll get an adapter for the Elgato, and we can stream that for you guys. Fuck yeah. We'll bring you guys that somehow. Yeah, like, I'm looking. Um, Shenmue, I, I never played Shenmue, so I almost what? I almost kind of have to go back now. Well, you know now with all the, the the talk of, like, an HD some version. Coming, oh, you think they're going to, like, I thought that was, them? like, kind of announced or leaked or kind of, like, an under the, ooh, yeah, don't talk about it. But yeah, we'll dude, the Sonic it. game was good on there. Sonic like, Adventure was interesting. I well, mean, Sonic Adventure was kind of like. I know their, 2 is, like, the big, huge one that. Well, it's Sonic Adventure was like their Mario 64. Like, yeah. the more you look at it, the more... It, and the other thing that was big about Sega Dreamcast was this was the time when 2K games actually, if I'm not... And I'm going to have to research oh, this. God. We'll put a MIG fact yes, here. Yes, this is But if huge, I'm not guys. mistaken, the NFL 2K and 2K1, I think, dethroned Madden. It those did. two it sold years. More. Now, what was the and, deal? Was that because the license expired or did they find a loophole? I can't remember if the license expired. And weren't all their games like 10 or 20 bucks cheaper? That yes. was their big thing. And yes. They were and better. I'm not gonna, yeah. The NFL 2K and 2K1 were way better than the Maddens in of those fact, years. In fact, let me know, guys, in the comments. I also couldn't make fact this, but maybe I want you guys to have you in my comments. Point out to me, please. It's a famous 2K football title that is still played to this day and still held as one of the best football games ever. And how this works is people will make 
roster updates for this. So like your 2015 really? NFL roster Jesus. is ported into yeah, it's like NFL 2K1 or something like or 2K2 or some weird number like that. But the 2K games were were well made. Um, did they have a lot of the story modes at that point? Where you like put the character in the team? No, nah, not really. One of them like, did. Where you, was, guys, you could play like, mini games in your crib. That was still a just a. Uh, now you can like legit remember. play like on LeBron's team and tell him you think he sucks, and there's like fighting and stuff. I, I mean, got the, one on Xbox One. I just haven't played it. Like you, you look over and like I said, like Dreamcast did have. It's really a shame. It's a bummer. How did that not? PlayStation you know, Two. Well, just how does that sit in the launch lineup? Because I thought didn't Dreamcast launch first. Yeah, PlayStation I believe, 2 came later, and then Xbox. Yeah, because Dreamcast launched 997. So you think, guys, everybody would be ready to gobble this up. I mean, at that point, the N64 had been out for, what, three years? Well, I'm not mistaken, Xbox was kind of considered a failure? Or? Uh, yeah, it's hard to say, man. Because we had an Xbox, and I remember doing the surveys, guys, Matt Tangents. While he's looking stuff up, I'm going to tangent. I love Okay, yeah, it. see, the PlayStation 2 came out March 4th of 2000, so Dreamcast was, was, out for a couple Dreamcast was the first. To, uh, and the hype for that, people were probably saving their money, and then when that came out, it was a done deal. Because I thought the Dreamcast's early numbers were like pretty good. And I think it was um, just the, the pre-sale numbers were really, really good. Like people were really interested, and like I said, they had an amazing, huge marketing campaign behind uh, it. Oh yeah, I just Sega was always seeing... really good with their marketing campaigns. Even TV commercials, I thought I saw a lot of nine 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 nine. Yep, I'm trying to find because I want to see the Xbox's release date. Now. That was the last one of that gen, easily. Yeah, I'm almost positive that was the last one. Because um, then the GameCube came. Yeah, out. Yeah, because the Xbox. The Xbox, original Xbox, came out um, November 15th of 2001. Okay. So you had Dreamcast in 99, PlayStation 2 in 2000, and then um, Xbox in 2001. Timelines. Dude, like seriously. It's interesting because like, that's the thing. When we give you guys dates, some of these might be Japanese. I tend to like to focus on the U.S. releases um, because that's what we're familiar with. And sometimes you get months. Yeah, dude, it was D2. God, oh, yeah. I remember that game being messed up. There that was, game like, was fucked Nothing there like was, the first. There was, what's it called? There was, uh, like, alien, alien creatures. Snow? That, wasn't um, it, like, snowy? Yeah. Well, there was, like, no. creatures and shit, like, that were basically like penis monsters. Like, tentacles that came doing out of, like, Doing it before Alice. Crotch. Yeah, dude. Was doing like, it with Persona. Like, some of the... I'll put, like, screen... I'll put some screenshots of it. I, you type in D2 and for whatever reason you get Yeah, it's really unique. You would, you, I would think nowadays if Dreamcast came out, I know it's got a big cult following nowadays. I thought if a system like Dreamcast came out now, it would be pretty refreshing. I would think it would be pretty freaking successful if it had similar I, I think it, I think it would be too. Because I think gamers are wanting that different style, that different, I don't know, it's like charm. Like they're looking for games like that. Yeah. Like and, Sunset Overdrive. Here, that's another game that Dream Dreamcast, 100%. Dude, and another thing, Resident Evil Code Veronica. And that game was fantastic. On that, yeah. yeah, yeah. Did they ever have a real this sh- thing that that thing basically comes out like a dude's crotch? Okay, yeah. I remember you playing that game for a bit and it being hard and also kind of scary. Yeah, like it reminded the, me of the thing. Yep. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. Like John Carpenter's a thing. Like there's, there. It, it really is amazing, and maybe I have to do some reading on it to yeah, fully to understand how like how I Dreamcast failed because. You you had I almost clicked X off the you audio. Know, is it um, is it something like it's almost like the Vita, where it's got this these awesome interesting games and it's just not. Well, and they had like because you know you got to think like you had the controller and then you had the VMU went in the top slot and then the bottom slot you put in the um, jump pack like the, yeah the mic stuff. Yeah, I remember the, the semen mic jump pack a cool phone. Or, yeah, the microphone so you could talk to it. Letter D more. But then they had like, like lots of crazy things. Like I just noticed, completely forgot about. Like because you remember they had uh, what was that Space Channel Five? Oh, I got like they did televisions. They they made little televisions. They looked like nineteen inch televisions that had it was all unibody, and the Dreamcast was built into the TV. I almost want to like it was home. built into the TV. I know exactly where it is if you can buy like two minutes of time. See, oh, I can, just, 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 just give me one minute. Oh, I got a bunch of shit that's very accessible and it's all Dreamcast, I believe. Really? Yeah. How do you have Dreamcast yeah. stuff? I sold, uh, years ago, I was cleaning out my closet and uh, I found, like, I had a bunch of old Dreamcast stuff that I had carted up and I boxed it up and sold it and I kind of regret it because, because it, even like, <sighs> and I will discuss the legality of this but even hacking the dreamcast was fairly easy to the point where 
eventually it got very easy that you could burn your own games and play burn copies of games on it. Um, people made emulators, Nintendo emulators, Super Nintendo emulators, Sega Genesis emulators that ran those games flawlessly on that system. I remember playing, excuse me, I remember playing Contra 3 for Super Nintendo. I remember playing that on my Dreamcast. Like, the... Somewhere. I don't want to dig in. Oh, uh, the... So the out a couple things oh, here. so the... Oh, my God. You have original Funkalane pack? Jesus. Yeah, original Engage. Um, uh, so, yeah, if you guys ever wanted to know what the Scud, which I love this little game here. It was pretty unique. Dude, you got the sure. old school fucking... With the stock numbers on here. You remember when um, when we were leaving Funkaland or whatever? It was basically like we had the period where they would get rid of the... Like, we're not carrying these anymore, so you wow. could get some of these games for like 99 cents. Are this, is, is this all Sega Saturn stuff? Yeah, and there's more. I just didn't want to take too long to wow. figure them out. So, you got for Fighter Kids. kids. But as a... Oh, no, extra no, no. and Engage. Engage. This was actually pretty cool. But, um... Sorry. You guys are saying, like, the, the emulation scene was really strong on oh, you're talking about like, some of the fun stuff yeah, you did on like, yours? Like, you could straight, like, hack it out and burn games and just play burn games. And there was, a disc, it was, it was a disc swap trick. You you would start a real game. Well, they were on CD still. And, yeah, and you'd, eat, yeah, you'd open the tray, pull the disc out, put it in. It wasn't even that. It was a boot disc is what you had to make. Yes, and you loaded the boot disc, disc and you just put your burn copy in there. Capcom 2, man. Go nuts. Yeah. Not to be a jerk with some of the used prices for some of those games. Oh, right? You kind of have to. Spe- like, trying, to, to, trying to find Marvel vs. Capcom 2 for Dreamcast, yeah, dude, you're paying an arm and a leg for it. Which is why some people have to do an that. An arm yeah. and a leg. Um. So, yeah, Dream, Dreamcast 2 was... Or Dreamcast 2... Look at me get my hopes up. It'd be up. nice, guys. Yeah. It really, and I think Sega could if you got investors. I think I think they could. Nah, Dream Kickstart. There, people had talked right. about trying to kickstart just recently. People talked about trying yeah. to kickstart a um, do a Kickstarter campaign to get Sega to reproduce the Dreamcast in small numbers. Yeah, pe- yeah. People wanted them to. Hey, we'll fund it, but then we want you guys to re-release the Dreamcast. Did you know that those components are probably like fucking oh, build the Dreamcast for ten bucks? They're cheap, probably. <laughs> so plastic and all that. It was more. an excellent system. It was a shame that 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 was Sega's it was ahead of its time. I I, I, think. I think so. It was Sega's dying breath, and I I think I think, and I could be wrong without doing research. Like I I want to say it started off strong and good. But I think when you had, because it came out in September, so you're looking at September. People were saving your money. I think even you were, too. December, January, February, March. So you're looking six months later, you had Sony PlayStation 2 came out. And with how massive PlayStation was, people were were just, yeah, like the PlayStation 2 just denied it. And you know what? It makes sense, too, guys. It did. Smuggler's Run was a fucking hell of a good game. PlayStation 2 sold like gangbusters. Yeah. Like. PlayStation 2 just beat the hell out of it. And Still the most successful console ever seen. PlayStation 2, yeah, see? It's, like, it's at the top. Not even Little Wii can touch it. How many, do you know the number, total number of units? I want to say like 122-something million or something around Damn. there. I'll put it up in there because it could be way off. It could be way more. But it is number one. Yep. So Sega couldn't yeah. Sega couldn't p- compete with that. And after the Dreamcast died out, they, they just... That was it. That was it for yeah. them making consoles, and then they just started, they yeah. just made games. That's unfortunate, because like I said, I mean, I would have loved to see, I said it earlier, I would have loved to see Sega of Japan maybe give the U.S. a little more of a, because I don't understand, because some of those systems you, you, don't sell big in Japan, but yet. Well, and you read Council Wars, and granted, Council Wars is one man's accounts mm-hmm. for something, but you read Council Wars, and it really does seem like it was very much Sega of America versus Sega of Japan. Yeah, all the button heads. You know, it was constantly And that heads. was the downfall. Yeah. I mean, you there were some bonehead decisions there that made no sense. And it's put this into perspective, not talking about Nintendo, but how different would Nintendo be if NOA ran it? Yeah. You know, it would be it could be a very different beast. Like, Amiibo the movie in theaters, what's oof. it called? Bring your Amiibo and unlock special bonus scenes. Oh, Do your, this with your Amiibo. Sorry, oh. Matt Tangent, right? So, yeah, I mean, l- luckily, so a lot of, a lot of, luckily, a lot of the games that you could play on Dreamcast were on other systems or Blue came out on other Stinger, systems. Guys. Remember that game? Check Blue Stinger, Blue like, Stinger was good. I got that somewhere. I got a whole thing of Dreamcast games. Really? Yeah, we're going to fucking find that. Space Channel 5. Yeah, we might be a Sonic. That. I might have also passed them on to you and I, me. And, which, or and I, no, I, like, I was just telling everybody, uh, several years back, I was going through um, my closet. No, way. no, I sold it. I eBayed it. I found it and I sold all of it. I can't remember how much I sold. The saddest part about it is I probably sold everything I had for like seventy bucks. Uh, you know, at that point, it's just like yeah, at the time, yeah, it was just taking up space. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I regret it. 
Nostalgia is huge and it's really kind of cool nowadays, guys. It was a it was a great system. I mean, Coleco is making a new system. And what what a great thing they did on their controller that nobody ever mentions or points out. You know, you have the controller and the cord hangs down from the bottom of the controller, and underneath on the back of the controller they had the little (laughs) groove cut out so you could take the cable and push it into the groove so you didn't have the cable hanging down like. Genius. Yeah. Genius. They're just fucking genius. Yeah. Just smart like, little shit. Attention to detail that yeah. turned a con into a pro. I mean, like, some people probably still don't want to so do that smart. for it. Like, I, and Options. I, I thought the controller was comfortable. Like, I'm going to go buy one. Again. They're cheap. And yeah. We'll and bring you some we let's do, plays. Yeah, we do some let's plays. Some older, cause there's yeah, some God, who, hey, this Saturn might work still too, guys. We'll get you some yeah. Saturn. I got a component. Some of you watching this might not have ever played a Dreamcast. I got light guns. Too. Yeah. Oh, those won't work on the. You have to get. We'll have to get um, a CRTV or whatever people yeah. in line use. Uh, so, so yeah, the Dreamcast was. It's a bummer, guys. Love that system, and yeah. it, it was really sad that it didn't do better. Like it, it deserved better. Mm-hmm. It was a really good system, and yeah, it's kind of like. I'm gonna save you. I was gonna compare like Sega of America, like or Sega in general. To, you're like trying to wrap it all up and I'm fucking it up. Yeah. Um, yeah. But no, it's almost like um, a football team coming in and being underdogs and they're stringing together like eight to ten wins and they're really kicking ass. They're being the favorites. Yeah. And then they get to the playoff team and the playoffs and here comes the big team that's just known for making kick ass video games and they kick the shit out of the, the upcoming team that you know, had a really good shot. And that's how it kind of it feels to me. Sega. Kind of never got, I think, the, the full shot that they deserve, and that's on all of Damn us. That, the title screen, that's like when us. you loaded that screen, the little <laughs> title screen. That that's in has, here, like, guys. It's so yeah, awesome. I'm putting it, like, the, it's such a good, clean title screen, like launch screen. Like you're making me feel so bad now for Sega, man. I will. It, like, like that's a, it. Really is upsetting. That, how that system all didn't deserve out. the fate that it got. It really didn't. Like that. That system is overlooked. I feel by so many people. And there's so many people that will never know how great yeah. the Sega Dreamcast was. Like, that was a great system. Loud. <laughs> <laughs> if I remember correctly, the, the fucking thing was loud. That system was loud as hell. <laughs> like, you had to be concerned about, like, it was like super loud. break my fucking disc. Yeah, that thing was a loud. crazy spinning. But, yeah. yeah. See, I mean, that bad. No, we did it in like 33 minutes. The, yeah. the dying breath of Sega. You know? Well, God. See, like, all right. I was going to compare it. Like, I wasn't quite sure how to say this. Some of you guys might have diabetes. To me, it's like Sega had been diagnosed with something and they were slowly losing. Their dying breaths is like what they're currently going through because they're still releasing Nintendo? games. Mm-hmm. And it's their last. No, I'm saying Sega. Oh. Their oh. dying breath is what we're getting now. Oh, no. I think Sega's going to be around games because and... they're, they're just buying up other studios now. I know, and... but they're not dead. So that's like their, their yeah. breath. Like, they're still breathing. The, well, the, the issue console, they went through console, with Dreamcast was I mean, like losing limbs, suffering no, no. failures. Council wise, I mean that was I'm gonna dying just breath. Mute some of that shit. Like the so NX, the NX could stand to be Dreamcast. Nintendo's Dreamcast. It could end up being a really great system that just just <laughs> All right, gets we, blowed over. You're in map mode. Yeah, no, I, I mean, dude, good. I agree. Anyways, if you ever have a chance, pick up a yeah, Dreamcast, it. check it out. If not. I'm going to take care of some things, and there will be some Let's Plays. Yeah. Um, we need to get, though, um, one of those TVs that support it or some sort of a splitter thing. A lot of people suggest getting one of the, um, the CRTs, like TV stations. Use, like, the old, uh, like, Sony monitors I've seen mm-hmm. that are fam- are pretty popular and they're pretty cheap, and you get the box little things. Yeah. It works. It supports light so, guns. I'll see if I can find one of the TVs that got the Dreamcast built into it. Let's go to the flea market, because they might even have Dreamcast <laughs> sure, yep. for, like, 30 bucks. So... As always, as we're going to start saying, um, please click uh, like, please subscribe. Uh, Check out our ARC server. Yep, our ARC server, also down here. We talked about that last week. Don't play, kill dinosaurs, try to get into our base. I don't think you can. Yeah, we dare you. Dude, well, especially by the time this episode goes. I got goes, T-Rex saddles. Dude, I, by the time this episode goes out, we're just going to be gods on yeah. that. Right? Come take us down, and we will mention your name. Yeah. Or the message that you want us to say on air. Oh, yeah, there you go. Take us down, we dare you. So, yes, please visit. And as always, www.midcast.com. Make sure you check us out. And that's all we got, guys. More stuff. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. PlayStation 2. PlayStation 2 and our stint at Funkoland. Oh, that's good, guys. You have no idea what you're getting yourselves into. It's going to be good shit. People are going to be indicted.
<laughs> Take it easy, I everybody. Bye.